21 bugs! Nine more to go. So yeah, I, I... Like I said, I didn't... Don't really care for... Needles and such. But yet, I will go take vaccinations. Why I, I take vaccinations? Like, uh... Measles, Montrebella, Tetanus, uh, Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B. I have no idea. Which also, I, one time, it was like, a little less than 10 years ago, me, me and my dad liked playing, uh, what you call a slug bug game. If you guys ever heard of it, it's where you actually find a Volkswagen Beetle and sit there and say slug bug and go punch whatever person is right next to you at the time but it's normally supposed to be like a tap or something on a this person's sh soul shoulder but no me and my dad when we get into slug bug competition we don't tap each other on the so shoulder it's a full blown punch it's like Falcon Punch or something like that. No, no, no. Here, I got a better idea. Even though it goes skull toss right there, it's like a Gordon Punch. That failed miserably, but whatever. Yeah, it's kind of like that, full force and whatnot. And uh, one day, you're coming home from. Uh, the doctor's office and I had just gotten a couple of vaccinations one in each arm and we were going down the road and my dad all of a sudden yells out slug bug and he goes out and you know there's a silver slug bug or whatever color slug bug going down the road I can't remember the color now I, all I remember is a slug bug and he goes around and rubies rubies yay no he uh, goes around and you know, winds up for the punch, and then I look at him, give him this death glare. I'm like, if you do, you die. I am not kidding this time. You do, you die. Because I had just, both my arms were sore, as I'll get at it. It was not fun having both arms sore. And yes, there's one of these gold sculptures on this, what do you call it? Looks like a gravestone for some odd reason. Don't know why they put a gravestone here in the Gold Skulltula house. Come on, give me hearts. This beeping is annoying game. Why will you not give me hearts? Alright. Actually, I th think there should be one more in this room. Yes. Or, well, a few more in this room. Is that it? Is that the last one? Please. Is that... All I can hear is this infernal beeping! Infernal beeping of one heart! I knew I'd, as soon as I'd get a little closer to the end of the game, all we'd be hearing is this beeping of... beepingness. Eh... Uh, Maybe I should have stuck to my original plan and be up in Iconic Canyon right now and actually go and fight off Gibdos and dead spirits and stuff. But no, I had to go over here in the friggin' Skulltula house and face these gold Skulltulas of doom, death, and destruction. And death. And the one heart beepingness is very annoying. Um, how do I get over there? Oh yes, there is one more of those. So hopefully I can get over here without any taking any damage. Thank you. And so yeah, that was basically my whole entire thing that I had planned out for this video. It was going about how I hate needles and the flu shot and. You got a bug in a bottle. Awesome, Link. And I'm almost done with this place, but...
trying to figure out how the crap to get back up to where I was before. Alright, we need the Deku Flower right here. Please tell me this gives me enough air. Thank you! Uh, th 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 Link! Stay up there. Stay up at the door. We need to get to, to the door. I really have no idea how long this video has been. There's one more thing that I will do in this video after this Scatola house because, well, I kind of need... Well, don't need to do it, but it's kind of there anyway. Alright, buggies, here's your new home in the wall. Nice soft soil for you. Don't go soiling yourselves now. Holy frickin' bug in the face, Batman. Alright, two more Skulltulas. Where are you? Alright, I know there's at least one more in this room. I hear it. Yep, you're right there. Where is the final bug? Where is the final gold Skulltula? Hang on, guys, while I go. What the? What the? the, the, the Link! Why the hell did you do that? I need you to freaking jump into that. Uh, why did you do why, What the, the devil, Link? No! Alright, let's see. I believe there's actually some beehives up in here that I forgot to shoot down. Frickin' beehives. And bees. Ow. That didn't hit me, did it? Ow. Good, thank you. Bees must die! No. What? The devil. Ah, uh, there's more. Please be in there. Huh? Are you serious? Come down here. Oh my freaking crap. That guy was a bugger to find. He will die. And we have found all 30! Yay! That took forever to do. I forgot about that one in there. And the beehive. And I was in there multiple times, listening for a Skulltula. Apparently, in, if the Skulltulas aren't are in a beehive, you can't hear them. Oh, hello, dude. You're no longer a spider. But you still have the creepy eye. Ah, I've been saved. I thought that I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich, and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here. But when I went to look... I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I would have never taken it. Here, take it. It is yours. And we have received the Mask of Truth. Yay! This mask allows you to hear and understand the wisdom of God with some stones and the thoughts of animals. I had enough of this. As soon as I get together, get it together, I'm going home. All right. Hello, puppy. I shall throw you. That is for your brother and clock down. Anyway, onward and upward. We shall meet you in front of the milk bar in Clocktown at 10 p.m. Exactly why you never give me the Kamara's mask. Freaking awesome dance moves there, Link. Ah, yeah. And yes, you can. You guys can tell I am very easily amused. This is exactly why you should never give me shiny things to play with, or well, in this case very annoying things to play with. And you sit down for a little while, a couple minutes, and listen to this music. It's very hypnotic. You can put one a person to sleep, if you ask me. But anyway, it is 10 p.m. Sorry, Link. No more dancing for you. Ah, you're a member. Please, come in. Don't mind if I do. Screw that. Alright, so... And many of you are wondering, why the crap are we here? Well, here we go, dude. Actually, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do drums first. Hey, how are you doing? 
We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just wanted to see what, what would it would have been like. Hey, you! Could you help me out with the performance? Sure thing, dude. Whatever we shall do. Okay, you play the drums, right? Go stand under the rear left spotlight! Yay, we are standing in the spotlight! Okay, play your drums like this! Oops. Wrong buttons. It's got a nice little beat to it. It feels good. I'll admit, it feels good, but it sounds somehow incomplete and that guy's gonna boo us off the stage have you Gorman why you must you go and ruin our day and now we're gonna get a little bit of a rhythmic guitar going here along with our beat yes we will help you out with a performance rhythmic guitar go yes Okay, is that stage right or camera right? This is actually stage left, so you should get your directions correct. Sounds better. It's sounding a little bit better there, dude. Yes. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket of guitar and drum. Alright then, how about... If you don't like the guitar and drums, dude, how about trumpets? Let's give him trumpets. Yes, we shall give you a performance. Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left. You mean stage left spotlight? All right, now play your pipes like this. All right. Do ba de do. I'm getting there, getting there. That feels good. Yes. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket of a trumpet next in. What could this nonsense be? Death to you, Gorman, sir. Hey, yes, we will favor you with a performance. Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center. Stage center. Yay, he actually got his directions correct this time. Play your ocarina like this. Holy mother of Pearl Batman! Bravo! That was the best! That sounded awesome there. That melody. That melody, it brings back so many memories. It's Tis Their Old Standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That is the song that members of this previous generation of the Indigo Goes made famous. I entered show business because I heard that song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who is also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. And it seems like you'd like to do other stuff than actually listen to them sing, sir. I will not entertain that song anymore. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. You got the circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad I could put tear in even a demon's eye. 
if we were going up against it. demons. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. However long it may be. I'm sorry for the length of it. But, like I said, I kind of really want to get the, this episode, or this game done, so. And I'll save a rant for that later. There, there's a rant that goes along with that. I'll save it for the uh, stone temple. But until then, guys, this is ETN for this, signing off, saying, keep things frosty! Wait, wait.